Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another Trader Joe's grocery haul and today I have zero groceries in my house except for maybe a thing of vegetable stock but I'm literally running so low I have nothing in my fridge so I'm pretty much doing an essentials grocery store shop today as well as um, meal prep stuff that I'm gonna have for all of next week um, so I am sitting in the Trader Joe's parking lot and people are staring at me like I have five heads so that's great um, but if you want to see what I'm buying and you want to know some of my favorite Trader Joe's products stay tuned so the first thing in my haul is going to be these California rolls with brown rice and avocado I am going to be consuming these in my car because I have a nail appointment that I need to get to and I have not had time to eat yet today so I'm gonna do that and you'll see the rest when I get home so starting with breakfast I just picked up two cartons of jumbo white eggs when I make eggs, I like to add a little bit of greens, so I picked up just a bag of baby spinach just for my eggs. I also picked up sprouted 100% whole grain bread. This is the Food for Life brand. Trader Joe's carries its own brand of sprouted grain bread, but I do happen to really like this brand, and I have been eating it for years. Um, and I just got the original flavor. I know they have other flavors, but this one is my favorite by far. So what I'll typically do is on my sprouted green bread, I'll put peanut butter, and this is just some creamy, salted, you can get the unsalted, I happen to like my peanut butter salted, um, and this one I like because in the ingredients, it's just dry roasted peanuts and salt, which is pretty minimal, which is pretty cool considering some peanut butters are kind of hefty on the ingredient list. I also just picked up a bunch of the teeny tiny avocados. Um, these are my favorite things in the world and the biggest reason I go to Trader Joe's, but they're all different stages of ripe and it kind of just depends on if they're ready or not. But I can also put this on my toast if I'm not in the mood for peanut butter. In my morning coffee, I definitely like to add creamer and I am guilty when I say that sometimes I add more than a tablespoon. So what I've been doing as of lately to kind of avoid the extra calories you can get from coffee creamer, I've been adding some of this non-dairy almond milk and I get it unsweetened so it's not that high in calories. Um, it only has 40 for a cup and I certainly don't use a cup. But for the creamer, I got just their vanilla one, but this one has about what is that 30 for a tablespoon so you got to be really careful on the serving size for these which is why I like to add both for my lunch this week I picked up a salad kit which has cauliflower brussels sprouts radicchio kale dried pear crumbles pistachios and a honey ginger dressing this is kind of like what all of it looks like it's kind of more like a slaw texture um, I got this just to try. I have had their salad kits before and I have liked them, so I will let you know how this is. Also for lunch as my protein, I'm adding some smoked turkey breast. Um, this is Applegate Naturals. I have also never tried this brand before, but I'm going to give that a shot and I'll let you know. But I will typically eat this with, I also got the Smooth and Creamy Classic Hummus. Um, I love turkey and hummus together, so I oftentimes will eat um, this for lunch alone, but I'll have this with the salad on the side. Lastly, on the side of everything, I will just have some red seedless grapes. I need something sweet with my lunch, so this will do the job. For a snack, if I get hungry after lunch, I just picked up two bags of these mini peppers, and what I'll do is... I'll either eat them plain because I happen to really love peppers, but I can also dip it in some hummus. So I just got these because they're super cute and super easy and I love peppers. I also picked up a couple of bananas at varied stages of ripe for before my workouts as my pre-workout snack. For my dinners this week, I'm going to be making turkey burgers, so I just picked up a pound of ground turkey. They do sell organic, but your girl is balling on a budget, so we did not get the organic kind and just settled with this. On top of my turkey burgers, I'm going to be doing balsamic caramelized onions. 
So I just picked up two yellow onions and a bottle of balsamic vinegar. Um, I'll reduce the vinegar and the onions together to get that nice caramelization going. Also on top of the burgers, I'm going to be using some Munster cheese. Um, I also will probably use cheese on my eggs in the morning, so I'll just use this one instead of getting different types of cheese because I love Munster. Also for my burgers, instead of doing a whole grain bun, I'm doing these whole wheat slims. They are lower in calories and higher in fiber than the Trader Joe's whole wheat buns. So it's got five grams of fiber, five grams of protein, only 100 calories. So I'm sticking with these this week. Um, I love them. They are amazing. On the side of my burgers, I'm also going to be making some roasted potato um, wedges. So I just got a bag of multicolored potatoes because I do really love these purple ones. Um, but they don't sell them on their own purple-wise. So I get the bag of medleys and I love that. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I sound and look super, super disheveled. I am super disheveled. I've been sick all week and I look terrible and it's totally fine. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Have a great rest of your week, weekend, whenever I post this video. Um, you guys are the best and I'll talk to you later.